what's up y'all quick overview of my offshore kayak fishing rig this is the vibe shooter water 125 We'll do a quick walk around, show you guys what it looks like, and tell you a little bit how I like to rig it. All right, so it is June 2022, and uh, we are here at the uh, Georgia Kayak Fishing uh, Fort Pickens Camping Paddle. So we got two more folks way on out there. And they are still uh, still fishing. I am the worst about breaking equipment. And uh, I've broken this weekend two easy ups, my Vibe X Drive, to no fault of the X Drive itself. Totally. Actually, it was it's the fish's fault. And I'll tell that story here in a little bit. Um, and then a rod. And the X Drive and the rod did all happen at the same time. But, uh, so I like to go out with kind of like a skeleton uh, kit, right? I don't want to take too much, especially out here when you got waves and surf. You never know if you're going to flip over and lose all your gear, right? Or get your, you know, your tackle box wet and all those hooks rust out on you. And a lot of times, us kayakers, we bring more than we actually need. And uh, that can bite us. Uh, in the event we flip over out here, which is uh, not unheard of. It happens. So uh, I like to um, kit up as, as little equipment as I possibly can to get by with. And uh, aside from my fishing rods, this is what I went out with today. Of course, I've got a yak lead up top. This helps with launching and uh, getting back into the surf. Keep control of your kayak, stand assist, really does a lot. Bending Branches Angler Classic Paddle. You may notice I don't have any electronics on this boat and I don't use them for offshore fishing unless I'm reef fishing. So in this particular case, we're like mackerel, king mackerel, Spanish mackerel, whatever else is biting fishing. So no electronics for me. Vibe Summit seat. This is a uh, NRS Chinook life jacket. Always wear your life jacket, especially if you're in the ocean and deep water. Uh, this was my Sabiki kit. <laughs> this is just a little uh, Cuban hand spool. And uh, I basically cut down a Sabiki line and uh, use this uh, hand spool as a bait catching device instead of rigging up a, a fishing rod. So that's been very productive. And once you're done with it, of course, you spool it back up, put it under the tray, it's out of the way. You don't have to worry about those flies getting hooked into everything, which is what happens when they're sitting up on top of the deck. Uh, for all my filming, when I'm out on the water, I'm using the action hat. Great way to POV, point of view film. Um, not pictured here is my Vibe X Drive. Like I said, it's broken. I'll ad lib a little clip on what happened with that. But yeah, the X Drive goes down into the X Drive cassette. Small bait tank for when I uh, catch bait. And of course, the Bixby Jet. And I really only use the Bixby Jet uh, in cases of an emergency or when I'm done for the day and I'm ready to just power on back to the beach um, I'm tired I've been fishing battling fish and the wind and the waves and all that it's awesome just to turn this bad boy on and take off this is the battery for the Bixby jet it fits in this little tackle tray storage area in the sheer water perfectly as you can see there's maybe a quarter of an inch there so uh, there's a bungee strap that holds it on, so that really works well. And that's it. Bare bones as you can get. 
fish on. But a Shearwater 125 gets it done. It'll get you out there, put you on some big fish. It's stable, it's fast, and there's three modes of propulsion. Thanks for checking out the video. Hope it's been informative. Y'all take care.